definitely formulating a plan, definitely going to execute that soon within the next coming weeks to try to get us into a new vehicle here. Like it was saying, um, being out of shape is hard, but also being healthy is hard. So you choose what hard you want. And um, I was just like laying there and I was in pain. And I'm like, this good pain, you know, it's such thing as good pain and bad pain. Like, this is good pain. This is growing pain. You always have to work hard, even when things are comfortable for you. You might even have to work harder just to keep them comfortable. And, uh, you know, you, you working hard and working double the time so you can avoid the hard times. We don't want to live in survival mode you know, all the time, we wanna, we don't wanna survive, we wanna live, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody gonna treat you how you gonna treat yourself, you know what I'm saying? What's the word, birds? It's y'all boy, Flu Dog with the vlogs, man. We back at it with another epic banger, man. If you're new to the channel, I need you to like the video, comment down below and subscribe, and hit that all post notification bell so you can be notified when your boy, Flu Dog with the vlogs, drop a vlog. Man, you dig, so. Today is Wednesday, man, of another new beautiful week. We are on our way to the gym, as y'all may know. Um, I'm running a little behind today. Got a little mixed up, but that's all good. I'm going to just have to try to get my workouts done faster than usual, which should be fine. I should be able to do it because um, I end up having a little bit of time left over at the end anyways, probably about 15, 20 minutes. So I should be able to get up out of there at a decent time today. But um, yeah, man, today we gonna talk about maintenance, man. Maintenance, 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 man. Now, not like, not only on just your car. If y'all, if y'all been tuned in with y'all boy, y'all know my car done broke down. Um, the transmission went out on it. Definitely not trying to replace it. Uh, I replaced the transmission before in the past. So I definitely am not trying to do it twice. I just don't think that that makes any sense. Because obviously it's just going to keep going out. But um, yeah, but not only maintenance on your car. Uh, let's talk about maintenance on your health as well. You know, and your relationships and everything. Like anything in life. If you don't maintain it properly, it's not going to last. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, if you don't maintain it, it won't maintain you. You know what I'm saying? So that's just what's going on. My daughter calling me. She just got out of school. I'm going to call her back in a minute. I want to finish this vlog right quick. But, um, yeah, man, that's just what it is, dog. Like, you know, um, my car uh, trans went out. I, I did try to get it fixed, but, you know, Rafa was saying, like, oh, man, it ain't broke. It's good. And just keep driving it, and it should be fine, which I knew in my brain, like, this thing ain't going to last. So I probably should have been trying to formulate, you know, a save-off for that, which, you know, that's why I'm having to work twice as hard now. You know, because I didn't think about the, the maintenance aspect of it. But um, definitely formulating a plan, definitely going to execute that soon within the next coming weeks to try to get us into a new vehicle here. You know, my old lady is gracious enough to let me use her car in my time of need. But we definitely don't want to be in here forever, right? This, you know, it's just not our car, you know? definitely want to have your own motion at the end of the day man you want to be able to move and go and rip and run on your own time and uh you know it's it's kind of hard because we both got our own schedules that we try to keep and uh you definitely can't make that happen in one vehicle somebody gonna have to compromise and you know that's just how it is but also the maintenance on your body man like today um I know a lot of days I'll be saying like, man, I don't see no difference, but today I'm definitely seeing a difference. Yesterday I was talking about the health and how, you know, I have to start eating different 
And for lunch today, me and my old lady ate some salads. So that's cool, man. I definitely ate a salad. I got a sandwich too, but I never ate it. Um, I'll probably eat it after I get out the gym. I don't even want to feel too heavy like that while I'm in there working out. So I'm going to wait for that and eat that later and probably, probably try to let that be it for the day. It's a sandwich cut in half. I might eat one half, you know, uh, when I get out the gym and then the other half later on this evening. But we'll see how that goes, right? But um, definitely want to keep the maintenance up on your body because, you know, you look up one day and don't nothing work no more. You know what I'm saying? Like last night, I was laying down and everything on me hurt it, bro. Like everything hurt from my head to my feet. And um, I, I knew that it's okay because I know it's from working out. But, um, you know, like I was saying, I, I think I read that stuff to y'all about, you know, picking, picking what's hard for you. So, you know, like it was saying, um, being out of shape is hard, but also being healthy is hard. So you choose what hard you want. And um, I was just like laying there and I was in pain. And I'm like, this good pain, you know, it's such thing as good pain and bad pain. Like, this is good pain. This is growing pains. Um, you know, a lot of stuff you be going through these things so you can grow through these things or you'll let this stuff that happens to you that's negative consume you and you don't want that to happen so you have to when a problem you know arises you have to rise higher than a problem you know what i'm saying god give us problems so we can find solutions and so we can store it in our database you know what i'm saying like i'm knowing like whatever the lesson that I'm learning, you know, throughout this time is, is to never be too comfortable. You know what I'm saying? It was a point, you know, a couple months ago where I was just flat out comfortable and I didn't think that I needed to, you know, work as hard, but you always have to work hard. Even when things are comfortable for you, you might even have to work harder just to keep them comfortable. And, uh, you know, you, you working hard and working double the time so you can avoid the hard times because you uh, work hard and get yourself into a good spot and then now you comfortable so you kind of fall back a little bit and then some shit come out the blue and it surprise you, you know what I'm saying? Versus you always stand on the offense. So when some shit come, you just automatically switch the defense and, and get it out the way and then get back to offense versus playing your life in defense the whole time. You always in defensive mode. You know what I'm saying? Which ain't no fun, man. Like, I was telling my sister, you know, we don't want to live in survival mode, you know, all the time. We, wanna, we don't want to survive. We want to live. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you got to take those steps to get to that point. And, um, these are just some things that I'm learning. Like, you know, you know, um, I'm thankful for the people who are in my corner, but ain't nobody gonna do nothing for me. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody gonna do nothing for me. Like, I have to do these things on my own. You know what I'm saying? As far as, you know, making sure that I'm in the position that I truly want to be in. Like, my old lady, she letting me use her car to handle business, but you know, it's nothing like having my own car to take care of the business. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, like, um, you know, my pops, you know, back in the day, we just had the van business and, you know, he helped me by, you know, giving me a position in the company, but it would feel much better if it was my own company. You know what I'm saying? Because then I could know whatever is the outcome of this is, you know, either my gain or my loss. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's just different. Like, that's what I'm, I, I feel like I'm, uh, you know, like I'm learning right now at this point in my life. Like, 
you know, ain't nobody gonna treat you how you gonna treat yourself. You know what I'm saying? So you have to make sure that you always treating yourself, you know, accordingly. So it's just, it's beautiful for me, man. I, I'm loving, um, you know, everything that's happening. It's been a lot of nonsense that has been happening, but I'm loving it because I'm taking it all with a grain of salt. You know what I'm saying? I'm not being upset at these things that's happening to me. I'm trying to learn from them. So these, this type of stuff won't happen again. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't tripping at all, man. It, I'm just taking it one day at a time, man. And I'm not trying to, you know, let anything get into my mental bubble to where it'll, you know, make me upset, mad, angry. You know what I'm saying? Flip out or nothing like that. Because at the end of the day, like, like my boy 42 Doug said, you know, hard times don't last. You know what I'm saying? Hard times don't last. You know, you going through stuff and you feel like it's the end of the world and then shit. In one day, everything could change. You know what I'm saying? So that's just what it is, man. This y'all boy Flu Dog with the vlogs, man. We trying to stay with the maintenance. You dig? We trying to maintain. You know what I'm saying? When you got you some stuff that you love, cherish, and everything else, you got to maintain it. Like your relationship, you have to do the proper things that you need to do to maintain it. You, your, your body, your health, you have to do the proper things that you need to do to maintain it. You know what I'm saying? If you got a car or a home, you have to do the proper things that you need to do in order to maintain those things. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm pretty sure somebody done seen the old dilapidated home that's falling apart that's because at some point people stop maintaining it you know what i'm saying so you know we just trying to make sure we build us a good house and we maintain it you dig what i'm saying so it's y'all boy flu dog with the vlogs man I ain't gonna talk y'all head off i'm finna get ready and hit that gym uh, make sure i like the video comment down below and subscribe man and hit the all post notification bell so you can be notified when your boy flu dog with the vlogs drop these crazy vlogs man i'm trying to smack it down you dig so um yeah man i'll holler y'all on the next one man love and peace peace